Did you know that some U.S. presidents have won the presidential election even though the majority of people voted for their opponent? In the U.S., we don't elect presidents based on which candidate receives the most votes. Candidates win the presidency thanks to something called the Electoral College. The Electoral College acts as a sort of buffer because the country's founders didn't want the president just to win based on a popularity contest. I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm popular. In the Electoral College, each state gets a number of votes based on its number of senators plus its number of House members. While every state has two senators, the number of House members varies based on the state's population size. This means the more people in a state, the more electoral votes that state gets. In most states, if a candidate wins by just a single vote, they get to keep all of the state's electoral votes. Some people favor the system because it gives smaller states a voice, but others aren't fans because it might mean the president doesn't have to win the most votes overall. In this unit, you'll explore the surprising math behind different voting systems, including the Electoral College. Then, you'll answer the unit's key questions. Are elections fair? Let's skew it. <laughs>